Yep, we're definitely doing this. Gonna take it over some sick jumps. Line it up. Here we go. Hold on to your pants. Yes! G'day, Peanut Mechanics. Menace here with the first of many Scrap Mechanic episodes. I've got my hands on a key and I'm so excited right now to play this game. First things first though, as you can tell, I'm sick. Yay! <laughs> my voice is totally messed up, but um, please bear with me. There's probably going to be quite a few cuts and things where I stop recording because I'm going to cough my guts up, and I really don't want you guys to hear it, which is uh, really bad. So uh, please bear with me on that. I hope you don't mind me sounding like crap at the moment, but I really wanted to play this game, really wanted to share it with you, because, yeah, I'm super excited. Anyway, so I've literally just got my hands on a key, and I have loaded up the game First thing I noticed though is the character, you could change it, which is awesome. Check out this awesome trike here that they've got in the background. It's got a thruster on the front. I like the look of that. That's cool beans. But we're going to be a dude um, as well as going into options here. We've got a few things. You could change your keybinds. We could change our audio. I've already turned that down. And I've upped all the graphics here. I didn't don't want to touch the texture quality. Um, when I did before, it crashed. So I'm going to leave it at medium, which is fine. And let's get into a new game. Obviously... Only creative at the moment. The devs have said that survival is coming, so I cannot wait for that. But for now, I'm keen as to get some uh, creative. Let's call this one Peanut Land, just because. Terrain, we want terrain. Uh, we'll leave it. We'll leave it unprivate. Let's, what settings here can we do? Players thrusters. Don't know what all this is. Gas engines. Maybe that's something we're starting with. I don't know bearings. This is. Um, I don't know whether that's like a how much you start with maybe when you start but we'll, we'll see we'll get into the game did you know that if you put two toilet paper rolls on top of each other it will become a paper towel that's cool that's interesting to know i like that that artwork as well it looks really nice i wonder what they're running from someone's chasing them he's got his hammer there oh i'm excited hi mechanic welcome to scrap mechanic creative mode this is a great place to express your creativity and build the most amazing creations engineer architect both I could be none of those things. Everything you need is already conveniently stacked in your inventory, which I press I to access. Cool. A great way to start is by opening the mechanics handbook, which you'll find in your hotbar, and following the instructions for how to build a vehicle. It'll help you get comfortable with the basic building system and it'll give you great foundation on which to build your scrap mechanic skills. Got it. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, wow. Look at the... That looks really nice. Like the terrain sort of blurry the further out you get. Things look really nice. And what do we got? We can scroll. I think we can scroll out by pressing, holding Alt and scrolling with our wheel. Ooh, what is that? That is cool. Oh, this looks amazing. This The shadows. This just looks better than I had actually anticipated. The videos don't do it justice. You guys have to check this game out. For those that don't know, it is coming out on the 20th of January. There will be a link in the description to the Steam store page. And there is going to be definitely plenty of videos on my channel for this stuff. Let's um, zoom back in here. We'll go first person. This is rocket ship, man. This is like a launch pad. What's this? A big, big symbol. This must be... Okay, so if you don't know, this, this planet that we're on... We've crash landed and all the, uh, this, this planet is actually like a processing area. So you sort of, um, there, they, they sort of harvest things and send them off to the, the central planets. It's all food processing and whatnot. And there's automatic robots. There's no one here. And I'm the mechanic sent down to try and fix stuff, but everything's gone a bit funny. So, um, we're here on this launch pad. I'm thinking what I want to do in this episode, we're going to build a car, right? We're going to build a vehicle. Something with wheels and suspension and whatnot. I'm going to mess around with it and you're going to join me. But we are going to explore the terrain because I don't know how big the map is. I don't know if there's like... What I want to know is there like water? Is there water? Can we do watery things? I don't know. But um, to start building, we're going to need the lift. Right? We're going to put the lift left to place it. There we go. And we can lift, use the lift up and down with the arrow keys. Right? So okay, we'll put it, up, put it down first. And then we will actually drop down... Let, let's zoom back in because... It's easier. Uh, you just click and drag like this. And we're going to make like a, a little car like that. That's cool. Um, 
Sure, let's do that. Let's lift it up a bit. Uh, what we might do is actually move, make it a little bit wider out this way. Just so I can actually get under it. Cool. Um, then I might put like, um, what do we want? We want like a something that is you know, sort of high. Actually, do we want to put suspension on it? So left clicking and holding it down will make the big platforms like so. You can place single blocks, just simply left clicking and right clicking will remove stuff. Um, I think I want to try and put suspension on this bad boy. So we've got sports suspension, which I guess is something that's, that's cool. Great for vehicles to prevent them from tipping easily over. This suspension is small, but has a firmer bound. And the off-road suspension, which I think we'll be using in this case as a Lightweight, adds bounce and stability, great for vehicles to prevent them from easily tipping over. This suspension has a lot of bounce, making it ideal for off-road vehicles. All right, we're gonna pop this down. Uh, we don't need this right now. We don't, we're not gonna read the, the handbook. Uh, what I might do is actually might put like a block on each side and put put the suspension off those, just, just for coolness. Oh, I like the feel of this game, you know? Like, it's very smooth. Let's lift this up a little bit more. And we're going to put that down. And that. Actually, you know what we might do? We might just... We might... Can, oh, you've got to hold it down. There we go. We might do this, right? Changing my mind. Oh, that's a good idea. That's a good thing. Like, if you remove the block, it'll also remove whatever's attached to it. Cool. We will... Um, uh, this is what I want to do. I want to sort of make, like, a wheel well, if that, if that makes sense. Um, let's get up on top here. No, 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 no. We don't want to do that. You want to, so you see how like the the uh, arrows are flat. What I want to do is is make like a pillar like this, three high. We're going to put this like that, and then we will put the suspension under here. This is how I'm thinking it's going to roll. All right, that's cool. Now, do I put I put a put a block underneath here? I can, and then I need to put a bearing on the block like so. Actually, you know what we need to do? We need to get rid of this. We need to put a bearing in there first, right? Then we need to put a suspension because this is the front and this is the steering. Uh, maybe we can't do that. Okay, it doesn't look like you could put the suspension directly on the bearing. Let's, um, what I probably can do, let's see, can I put the bearing on the end of the suspension? No, no, I cannot. So let's put the block down. Maybe I can do... Hmm, I need, I need to think about this. Okay, so the back end is kind of looking like this. I think that perhaps the um, collision might interfere here. So I've removed the, uh, the block there and I might do the same on the front. So this is a test. I don't know if this is going to work, the, um, the steering component anyway. So we'll put this block in here and we'll remove you, sir. And then we will do the, uh, the same. We'll mirror this on the other side. So we had like, it was like three in a pillar here. It had like that. We'll put down the suspension like so. Uh, we might actually put in an extra block right there. Remove this. Drop in our block. Drop in our bearing. Drop in our second block. You know what? This is going to be a a high car at the front. So I need to actually um, raise the suspension of the back. But for now, this is just a test. So from what I gather, is that? Yeah, see, look, it's going to be like sitting back just a bit. I need to remove like that. All right, now uh, use my connect tool again, right? And we'll, we'll connect it up to, to you, sir. And I think we might be okay, let's see. Oh, it's working. Excellent, so it does work like that. Um, all right, now we need to put in a motor. Now this is the, I believe there's two types of motors. So let's have a read of those. The gas engine, so this is a heavyweight car for heavyweight constructions. Um, an engine fixed speed adjustable power ideally suited to powering vehicles can be connected to a driver's seat or triggers cool now we've got the electric engines engines it powers bearings it's fixed power and adjustable speed slow engine with a lot of strength can be connected to the driver's seat or triggers you know what we might put that on for now because um the 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 devs have said that this thing is quite a beast the uh the sorry what am i talking about the uh the engine, the other one, the motor engine is quite a beast. So you want to use this. Now we want to connect this up to you and then to you as well. Now I'm just simply left clicking and dragging, okay? So we want a full wheel drive on this beast. Uh, we might actually make some adjustments to it, but for now I just want to get it going. Uh, and then E to use, we're going to turn it up like that. 
Whoa, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I need to connect it up to the... There we go. Otherwise, so, all right. So what happened there was I didn't connect the electric motor up to the driver's seat. By manually moving this electric engine up, I'm just turning it on to that power. There is no control. Oh, that's interesting. So you can click and drag here, go to full power, or you can use the W, A, S, and D, the W and S key to move it up and down. We'll go about mid power for now. We'll close that. Let's see if this bad boy's gonna drive. It is, okay. First things first though, I need to change these things. So right click to change direction. That one is good. We wanna change you into that direction, yes. Uh, this one into this direction, quite good. And that one. Um, Okay, so it looks like the driver's seat here is actually connected to you. I just want to remove that. Cool. And then I need to connect this up to this one. So what happened there? So green indicates the driver's seat connections. Orange is the motor. We're good. Let's see if I can uh, drive this thing. All right, it is very slow. And the turning directions are in the wrong way. So we need to reverse these. That one. And... Whoops, that one. Oh wow, this is so much fun already. Left is left, right is right. And we are the slowest moving vehicle in all the world. Let's turn up this guy to maximum capacity, Captain. Let's see how we go. Oh, that's a significant change in power. <laughs> all right, now we're cooking with electricity. Actually, this thing is not bad. Wow, I need to put my seatbelt on, otherwise I'm gonna fall out. Whew. All right, let's change. Listen to it. It sounds like a jet engine running. I love it. We'll turn you down just a little bit. Just a wee bit like there. Let's see if this is manageable, guys. Alright. It is manageable, but it's just not fast enough for my for my liking. I like things fast. Fast cars. We're going to go with that one there. There's a considerable difference between those, those three settings. There we go. Oh, I like it quite a lot. This is super fun. Let's go check out this thing. This looks like a big oil rig. There's NPCs in this world, I know. For sure, because I've seen them in the thing. I don't know if they'd be in the creative world or not. And if they are, whether they can do damage to me. I don't think that we have health at this stage. And that over there looks kind of like a barrier for the world. But that's a very nice looking uh, silo there. <laughs> I love the physics. The physics is really good. And this suspension um, actually makes quite easy handling, as you can see here. I think we might actually swap this out for the uh, engine, the actual motor engine. Okay, the edge of the world is here. It's kind of bland here out in the desert. Let's let's pull up. Let's pull up. Okay, I'm gonna remove this. You're going. You're going. Uh, I think I need to maybe. Uh, okay, what? Well, that's that's wrong. But okay. Um, get out of there. So to edit your construction, I believe I'm going to have to put this in here. Left to place this creation on the on the lift. And we're going to move it over there. Like so. Now we are going to remove that by right clicking. And we're going to put the, the gas engine on. That's what I want. Okay, let's go down a bit. This thing is going to be probably over the top. Like so, that's the right rotation. I think they're gonna keep their rotation, actually. Uh, no, they're not. That's frustrating. Well, not frustrating, this could, this could be worse. And that's the right way. Then we don't right click this, get away from there. Um, we need to actually turn this up. Uh, you know what I did, I did it again. I didn't connect up the driver's seat. Did you hear that thing? All right, now we can. Okay, I'm glad I didn't turn up full bore, otherwise we would have lost the car forever. Ooh, a different sound. So that's about the same power where we were before. Uh, so that's a good contrast. I like that a lot. Let's turn it up. I want to live dangerously. Let's go up to here. Let's double the power we were just on. Please don't flip. That's not bad at all. Whoa! Okay, we flipped. <laughs> I'm going to get out. So we're upside down. A thing to know here is a left click like that, and then we can put it back down, right click this, and we're up the right way. That was way too powerful. You know what? We might um, we might turn that down a bit, <laughs> as they've said. Let's go like here, find a happy medium, all right? A happy medium where it's going to be baller to ride. It's going to go at a good speed, and we're not going to lose 
troll. <laughs> uh, there's a road here. Maybe if we stick to that. Let's go exploring, guys. This this map looks really great. Mm. And then I kind of want to mess with the car. Oh, I've got so many ideas right now flowing through my brain. Yeah, you really have to be careful. Let's check out this map. I'm kind of just scaling this mountain here and... Looks like we're almost at the top. I wonder what's up here, if anything at all. This looks like a nice little spot to hang out. Let's go up here. A cool spot for a base on the top of the mountain, though. It looks like this is pretty much it. Let's, let's just jump off the vehicle and uh, take a squeeze over the side. Get out a hammer, because it looks baller. Okay. There's that tower, the the uh, launch pad. You know what would be great though? I think it'd be great if we could maybe just fly around. Is it time to turn the car into a flying vehicle already? I haven't even finished with this one yet. Maybe we should chuck some thrusters on. Let's see if we can if we can build something cool using the platform. So let's have a look. Okay, so we've got a thruster, the lightweight thruster. Enough of these can make things fly. Needs to be connected to a trigger or the driver's seat in order for it to activate. Let's put this down. We're going to remove the hammer out of there. Is there any other thrusters? I don't think there is. Oh, wow. There's so many cool items here. We're going to have to check all this out eventually, guys. There's lights. Um, so, again, to edit this creation, let's pop it onto the lift like so. And now we're going to need some thrusters. All right, what I want to do is put two on the back like this, right? And I think we're going to need to do X, Y, Z. Do you know what I mean? Like X, Y, Z as in, I don't know, maybe I need to use, yeah, let's do this. X, Y, Z as in thrusters in all directions. So uh, we could put maybe one around each wheel. So... Remove this, like so. We'll put put this in here for continuity, just so it looks beautiful. Um, we'll do the same in here. I think if they're further apart, it will actually give us a better sort of state, more stable lift. Actually, you know what we might do? We'll remove that. We'll move it out further. We'll make it sort of out here if we can. Is that going to interfere? It is going to interfere. Uh, we'll maybe do this like this and then put it there so they're sort of you know we've got a nice wide spread of thrust now how have i done this um i want it I want it symmetrical obviously because otherwise we're going to probably lose, lose a bit of control if we do not is that is that symmetrical it does look symmetrical to me we could probably uh i don't want to put double you know double is dangerous for now, we're going to see if we can achieve flight with just the four. Um, how did I do this? I just pretty much put it straight back like that. So we will... I think it's that. Nope. These go two more here. Like that. Is that the same? It is. And then I'll just pop another one there. I don't know if weight is a thing. Uh, I guess we'll find out. And then we want something to slow us down. So we'll put these in here like that. We'll drop our beautiful creation onto the ground. Then we need to actually connect all these up. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, that's not, that's wrong. We need to connect them to the driver's seat. Is there a kind of direction? Oh, I guess. Oh, you need to sort of um, map the keys, I believe. Let's have a look. I don't know if it's going to work. Just straight off the bat. You know what I mean? Like, is it, is it going to be... Oh, I already did that one. We're back at the start. Um, everything's connected. I don't think that one's connected. There. Oh, all right. Everything is... Whoa! <laughs> Everything is connected to the W key. So how can we... What can we do here? Can I... Nope, I don't want to remove it. Um, put it back in there. And we want to connect up that. Um, 
I honestly don't know how to do this. Because everything right now is just, it's just going to go. Do you see? <laughs> that's that's actually quite quite potent for the small amount of thrusters we got on there. Um, let's have a quick... I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a think about this. So it looks like that's not how it really works. Um, I guess I had something else in my mind. But what we'll do is we'll, we'll just remove these. We don't need it all, you know? It, it's not how it is. I can't... You can make a flying sort of hovercraft type machine like that. But... It, it requires a little bit more in, intense uh, engineering. And right now, we are just going for something simple. So, no flight right now. We will continue, though, to fly around this lovely little world. And check out a little bit more. And I think that'll probably be it for this episode. I will be doing more. There will be guaranteed more of this. Because this is just one creation. As soon as I'm done here, um, we, I'll probably upload this video. And then start work on another one. Because I'm so excited to, to get in and make some cool machines. We might... Um, in the next episode, work on a cool looking ground vehicle. Um, something that has a little bit more stability and a bit more function. We're going to leave though with, uh, with these thrusters on here. We, I don't want to get, I want to get rid of that and we'll connect up the seat here. Now we've got superpower. Oh man, this is going to be so fast. Can we fly? Oh, it actually makes jumping a lot of fun. Um, okay. We're going to go off the edge here. Ah, I like it. It actually gives a little bit more stability, I guess. It gives you the back end thrust. Stops the front end from falling down. Like hovering off the edge. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's good fun. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Alright, it looks like I've rolled her over again. Uh, just simply get out our lift. Pop her back down. And that's actually really good for, for things getting stuck as well, you know. Oh, look, there's a bit of, a bit of wheat here. Let's go a little bit more into the center of the map, now that we've got quite a bit of speed here. And actually, the stability is rather good. You know, we could also um, make the vehicle, I guess, a little bit easier sticking to the ground. If I put thrusters facing, you know, thrusting downwards, so that it keeps the vehicle to the, to the ground. Whoa! <laughs> oh, we're going for the launch, guys. Going for a launch. Oh, it flies beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. What a magnificent machine. Yes, this is amazing fun. Let's check out some more of this map. There's another mountain over here. What's this got? What's this over here? We've got ourselves a big sign. What's it saying right here? It says we all we do all the work while you collect the profit. Okay. What's over there? I like the look of the trees too. They're very nice. The leaves are quite pretty. Oh, oh. Which is like some kind of processing facility. Have we come across any NPCs yet? Not quite. Another couple of silos. Tree there, mate. Looks like there's no damage so far. That's good. Oh, this thing turns around super quick too. I like this vehicle very much. Good design. Okay, so this is the other edge of the map. Which, I mean, it's not huge, but it's still pretty cool. And another mountain. Whoa! Whoa! So I'm looking forward to the survival aspect too, you know, creating your base and, and collecting the materials you need. I don't see anything, well I see there's like rocks and stuff, like those those rocks there and logs could be resource nodes in the future, we don't know yet. Let's get a bit of a fly. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my. This fun, this is, this is fun. I can't English, that's how fun it is. Looks like there's some stuff up there maybe, top of that mountain. We'll swing around. There's a nice little, little cabin over there. We need to decide somewhere for a base, too. It's not a cabin. It's sort of like a... a chasm, rather. Let's have a look through here. Oh, what's up here? Can I fit my large vehicle through? It's a bit of a tight squeeze, guys. Oh! You can do it! Oh, this map is beautiful. I really like that. It's cool as... Cool as I know I'm probably saying the same thing over and over and over again, but it just really is exciting. There's another launch pad over here, or is this the same one? Oh look at this. Nice little rock formation. Oh yes. Alright. You know what I think? I think we might just add some cosmetics to the vehicle before we go. 
And that'll be it for the first episode. The next episode, I've got I've got ideas for stuff that I want to build. I think I mentioned that already. And I want to go through that with you. Um, there is a ton of stuff that I think I could create in, the, in this creative version of the game. And then once survival comes in, we can implement those inventions or those those designs. They're not inventions. Oh, look. Do you see what I see right here? I believe this is what it was made for. There's a big rock in the middle. Why would you put that there? Let's go the other side. Oh, perfect. Yep, we're definitely doing this. Gonna take it over some sick jumps. Line it up. Here we go. Hold on to your pants. Yes, perfect. Oh, straight on. Oh, there's another jump over there. Let's go. <laughs> Keep going. We can do this. I wonder how you go creating motorbikes. Perfect. Straight onto the rock. I wonder if, like, if, uh, you know, motorbike type designs would work. Check out the corn. Okay, so that's non collidable. Oh, they're like, there's rows and everything of them. Cool. Another, another platform, I guess, for taking off. I think that's pretty much most of the map. Well, <laughs> calm down. Alright, let's go back up to over here. Let's pull out, put our lovely vehicular in this direction and check out some cool staircase landings, some aesthetic type stuff. So I want to put some lights on it. We'll put that on our hopper. What else can we chuck on? A net fence. There's something I saw that could possibly double as a grill. Not a girl, a grill. We'll put some, maybe maybe the metal, this might be the right size. So what's this, a ventilation grid? Because I want to kind of make it like a, you know, like a bonnet on here. Maybe that's, oh, it's not exactly uh, centered though. That's disappointing. Maybe we need to make some modifications to the car. Oops, that's, that's definitely the wrong button. I right clicked, so I'll put the, uh, are we using concrete blocks? I think we are. We should have made the, not the car, not out of concrete. I don't think there's any weight, so um, it should be fine. We can, actually rather annoying because the driver's seat and the engine are in the middle, but those those aesthetic type items are not. Um, what is, else could I put on the front here? Hmm. Why is concave? Let's put that like in here be like you know like the engine is powering actually what I want to do I want to put the engine I'm gonna take it off and put the engine in sort of like a bonnet if you know what I mean so we'll grab maybe the ooh, tile blocks the brick blocks what else have we got some we'll use the metal blocks um, which I saw over here and we'll make ourselves a pretty cool little bonnet I guess this and then we can actually make a block here I want to extend it out like this and we're going to put an engine here we're gonna put two engines on just for aesthetics like this that's purely it I'm not going to connect them both up and we'll make a firewall which you have on your on your standard cars to protect the driver from uh, from any kind of dangerous what do I want to do I want to go like that any kind of dangerous explosions or impacts that you would normally catch in a car crash and we'll put our vehicle within that uh, what else could I pop in here that might might look cool what is this a metal support there's a metal window there too maybe that could be the right size for what we're looking for guys because I want the front to look Rather, rather cool. Uh, what? Yeah, okay, that's not really working, is it? No, that's not. That's not what we want either. Um, I already tried the ventilation grid. What else can we put in here? <laughs> Let's put some lights on the front of it, though. Make it look.
Oh, I see. Maybe we were facing the wrong direction for this to happen. Nope. No, that has no impact. All right, I'm just just. But see if I do that. Okay, we'll put put the lights on here. That looks cool. I like it. Um, we need to put some kind of something in here. A staircase step. No, let's put some some tanks in maybe. Maybe the tanks. Well, that's that's not small at all. But I like it. <laughs> that looks cool. I really do like that very much so. Um, we could put in maybe some rounded corners, rounded stuff. Is there anything like the metal? There's quite a few aesthetically, aesthetic parts, but uh, let's, let's try this out. And then we'll put it in here as well. We've got a bonnet for our car. I really like it. Maybe we should make a door. I think, you know what, we might leave it there for this episode. I'm going to be playing many hours of this game, I can tell already. I'm super excited to get some more of this game. More of this gameplay on my channel. It's got a little mustache, a little face. I hope you like this, this first episode of Scrap Mechanic. You guys should definitely check it out in the link below. This game is amazing fun. I can't wait to play more of it and share with you guys the stuff that we create and any ideas for anything you want me to make, chuck it in the comments down below. Definitely pre-order this on Steam as soon as it comes out. Uh, I can't commend it enough. It looks like so much fun. It is so much fun. Thanks so much for watching, guys. My name is Menace. Make sure you hit subscribe if you are new here. Hit that like button as well. I'll see you all in the next video.